How do you see this game playing out? Oregon destroys Ohio State. Simply put. Is that good enough for you? That's it. They're on a mission this year, and Chip Kelly should be considered for Coach of the Year in college football. I like Oregon to do to Ohio State what they did to Michigan with Dennis Dixon a couple of years back in the big house. Completely confuse a Big Ten team that is not matched up well to stop that read option. Oregon wins this right, game. You're picking and the Pac-10 over the Big Ten. You watch what happens in the, in the game, ball. and then you tell me what an idiot I am. Oh, you watch what happens in the, in the game, ball. and then you tell me what an idiot I am. Oh, you watch what happens in the, in the game, ball. and then you tell me what an idiot I am. Oh, you watch what happens in the, in the game, ball. and then you tell me what an idiot I am. All right, guys. Time for prediction. Yeah. Let's go. You ready? I'll go first. <laughs> <laughs> I got the Oregon Ducks. Yeah, I mean, I think, I think Jeremiah Masoli and Michael James, that offense is going to be too much for Ohio State's defense. I'm taking Oregon also. I think Oregon. that Ohio State offensively is going to be too one-dimensional to keep up with a quick scoring pace of Oregon. It'll be Oregon's first Rose Bowl win since 1970. Oh, wait a minute. Somebody's got to pick Ohio That's State right. here. We're in the Ohio State I'm section. Right in front of Ohio, Ohio State. State. Of course, so in the headgear pick, he won Look his it. last eight. Hey, wow. your picks on college State. All right, good. All right. Like the poet said, a rose is a rose is a rose. But it is also a symbol that means more than mere beauty. It stands for self-preservation as a slender stem protected by a stain. Or in the bramble, finding the strength in numbers. To survive a season, stretch to this high point and blossom in the sun. The rose represents death. Layer after layer of new life ready to shine. And of course the rose says romance. Like the long lasting love affair between the school from the heartland and its extended family. Or the passion for a team that has heard the prayers of the Pacific Northwest and answered them all year long. stands for life, drawing blood, or stirring it. It is a gift, a flower. And this is the game that shares its name. Someone you can say goodbye 
was no one at home Well it was cool, cool It was just all cool Now it's over for me And it's over for you Well it's all gone, gone, baby It's all gone There's no one on the corner And there's no one at home Well it was cool, cool It was just all cool Now it's over for me And it's over for you away, throws it, in the air, caught, and there's our man Balor, right on cue, Jake Ballard. Four field goals and scored one touchdown on their first series of the game. He throws, end zone, posey, touchdown, Ohio State. Ladies and gentlemen who wanted to move to Earl Pryor, the wide receiver after the Purdue game, take note of that throw. Slides it right. No good. And here's the MVP of the night, Terrell Pryor. He just put the trophy away with that little bootleg for 12 more yards. It's gone, gone, baby, it's all gone. There's no one in the corner and there's no one at home. Well, it was cool, cool, it was just all cool. Now it's over for me and it's over for you. Well, it's gone, gone, baby, it's all gone. There's no one on the corner and there's no one at home. Well, it was cool, cool, it was just all cool. Now it's over for me. It's all up for you Over the Big Ten. You watch what happens in the, in the game, ball. and then you tell me what an idiot I am. Oh, is that because I'm biased? No, or is it because idiot. I know? Because I told you that. Idiot. 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 Idiot.